Okay guys, now that we have our project folder here, the next thing that we want to do is we basically want to open up Bash Ubuntu. You could come here and do it like this, say CD slash MNT for mount and the C drive. Now we click LS. Now we go into CD into projects. Okay. So that's the location for my project files. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into CD Takashi 69. Okay. And here I'm going to say npm install. This will install all the packages that we need from this project to get started. Okay. I'm going to pause the video because this might take a little while. Okay. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So we're good to go. Everything has been downloaded as far as the packages. And now we're going to say over here, npm run watch. Okay, there you go. Now we're going to come here, go to localhost 3000. And here you go. Here's the starter kit, kids. So we are good to go. We're ready to start building um, our website. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to basically do uh, the background. Okay. So the top section okay we're gonna do the header next but for now let's just make sure we get everything that we want out of this okay so first of all let's go back into our public folders we're gonna come here to this index.html okay in here we're gonna remove this save this oops Okay, hold on, save that. Here we're gonna do something like this. We're gonna create a section. And we're gonna call this uh, class top section, top section. Okay. Oops. Okay. Now the next thing that I wanna do before I even continue with this, I want to make sure that we have uh, a couple of things here like uh, Emmet just to save us time for certain things. So we're going to click there, Emmet, and click this tool. All right. All right, cool. So we're good to go. Now, the next thing that I want to do here is I'm going to save this. I'm going to open up the assets, go to SAS, go to main.scss. And here I'm going to delete everything that's here. Okay. Save that. I'm going to come here, put in the class. Let's say top section. And you know what? To make it different, every section we're gonna do it with an ID, which is actually better for us. So we're just gonna change this to an ID. Okay, save that. Now here we're gonna say uh, background. Let's say background URL, and then here we're gonna say slash image slash what was the name of the image top top dot jpeg top dot jpeg okay i'm gonna save it like that okay we're gonna come here put a semicolon say background size cover height 100% width 
100%. And you know what? This we could even do height 100, uh, 100 VH, which means 100% of the view height. Okay. Now we're going to open this. And as you can see, this is what we're getting. Okay. Now I want to actually blur this out. So to do this, let's do CSS blur. Okay. All right. So we're going to use filter and we're going to use blur. Okay. So let's do this. Let's say filter blur. And what was it? Pixels. Let's say 20 pixels. Save that. And now we having a blur here. Let's do a little bit more than that. Let's do 50 pixels. Okay. That's pretty good. Now, what we also want to do, we want to come here, take this color, which is, was it 19, uh, 20 to 8. And we're going to make the body to be that background. So we're going to say, comment this out, make this like that, save that. Okay. That's exactly what we want. Now, one thing about filter blur is that it basically, when, once you blur something, it blurs every child of it. Right. So if I say, hey, top section, we use blur on it, every single child below it, even though if I create a div here, right, I could create a div and say eh, something like this is, hold on, this is Takashi 666. Six nine. <laughs> this is Takashi six nine. Refresh this. It's here, but it's being blurred too. Let's look into this. It's being blurred. We don't even see it because it's also being blurred. So blur actually blurs everything inside of that element. And we actually want to have more control with this than that. So to do this. What we're going to do is we're going to come here. We're going to say div class equals to blurred background. Okay, save that. So now we're going to come here. Gonna take all of this. And inside of here, we're going to say blurred background and put it there. Okay. Now when we come here, as you can see, now we seeing that this is Takashi 69. So now we actually seen that element. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is basically we're going to come here. Let me see. Look at the image. Okay, we got that. This is the background. We actually want to do a gradient. So like a gradient coming up from here to there. So to do that, we're going to say CSS generator. Okay. Not this one. Gradient. Okay, cool. So double click on this paste our color here which was let's see what was the color this one okay copy this paste this there now we're gonna remove that and we're gonna make this opacity zero okay now we're going to move this color to go from the bottom going up. Okay. 
we're going to come here where it says background, background. Okay. Linear gradient. We're going to copy this here. Copy that. Okay. And we're going to go back to our code. Here, we're going to basically see where it says background. We're going to change this to background image. Change that to a background image. Then we're going to paste our linear gradient. And then now we're going to have the linear gradient on top of the image. And remember, it's going to be one color from the bottom going up. And then halfway through, the opacity is going to be zero. So we're going to be able to see the image in the background. So let's save this. And as you can see, there you go. Now, one thing that we want to do, we want to actually give this like another color. So let me see. Okay, so I'm going to take this this linear okay copy up to there paste it here let's see how that looks okay that looks a little bit better all right cool now let me see something. Let me see if we bring down this right to a 40. Looks a little bit better. Let me see something with this. This opacity on this one is zero. I'm going to copy this and move it a little bit more up. Oops. paste it there because the whole idea of it is that we want to have a blacker color here okay see how we did that so You just got to learn how to play around with the, the gradients and see how how things work. So let's copy this from here and let's paste this here. Save that. OK, now this is more like it. Now this is more like how we have it here. OK, but it's a little bit too much. So we still got to bring this down a little bit more. Okay. Come take this from here. You know, this is all trial and error. This is how you, you come up with something exactly how the design is. It's like you got to try it out, see which one looks the most. Okay. So I decided to go with this one which is linear gradient 45 degrees, RGB, 25, 32, 42, one opacity at 0%, RGB, 25, 32, 42 at 33%. And the same thing here, 36. Okay, we got a little bit of purple in there and we got the URL image, okay? Okay, and yeah. So here we go. This is what we're keeping. Okay. The next thing that we want to do, we want to get this image right in the middle. So right here. So this is what we want to bring that image to. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to come here. We're going to put in class. Um, maybe, yeah, class um, 
Takashi Ip image. Okay, so here we're gonna say image source image slash what was it Takashi PNG. Okay. Save that. Okay, here's the image. What we're going to do, we're going to say this image with a 618. So I'll close this. So it's like 618. Um, okay. So let's say image is going to be 20%. For now, let's, let's try that out. If image is going to be 20%. Let's say with 20% save that I'm gonna say the image inside of it with 100% okay now what we're going to do we're basically gonna come here we're gonna move this thing so Takashi image Image source. Let's move this inside of another element. So div floating image. Okay, floating image. We're going to say this floating image is going to be floating image with 100% uh, with 100% height 100% we're gonna say uh, display flex justify content uh, and align items center okay this one's at the end let me see something inspect this element all right now we put in this 100 percent and we're gonna actually make this floating image to be let's say top section let's do it position relative uh this one we're gonna say position absolute z index one copy this I'm gonna put z index 2 put in the the height 100% vh or 100 vh okay let me see I put flex this one's fine flex in on that one flex in on this one Okay, so there you go. So it's at the bottom. Now, I'm also going to do this instead of 20%, let's put 30. 30% of the screen. All right, cool. That's fine. We're not doing responsive right now at this moment. 
Now I want to see why we have with extra uh, extra space here, which we shouldn't because it's 100% of the view height. Let me look in the HTML. That's fine. All right, so we got the first part done which is just doing the background okay doing the background putting the image here image of your boy and that's fine that's completely fine let me see something we could actually maybe do a little filter a little bit of more filter to this uh, let me see where is it filter function opacity saturate so we could actually use saturate. Let's see, filter. I'm gonna use the saturate for the background. So let me see, saturate, filter blur, do saturate 20%. Nah, that's not that good. Let's we'll see, fifty percent. Say, one hundred fifty percent. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, to one hundred fifty percent. Let's say one thirty percent. Yeah, one thirty percent is perfect. Now, the other thing that we want to do. Okay, we got saturate, we got grayscale. Uh, we might use that later on. Let's see for contrast. So let's do this. We're gonna do contrast on on this, on the Takashi image. So I'm gonna copy this. Put this here. And instead of this, I'm gonna use uh, contrast let's say 120 percent okay let me put this on the side here just so we can see it a little bit better okay let me see Put in 150. Now let me see how it looks without it. See the difference? There you go. So that's what I like. I like it better like that. So put some contrast on the image itself. Now let's work on that header, man. Let's finish this off. I was going to leave it for the next video, but then I'm like, you know what? Let's just knock this out so we could do one section per video. What do you guys think? That would be nice, right? So let's do the 6, 9, and then the side menu here. So we have the logo, right? So we're going to come here. We got top section. All right. Let's do this. Let's say header. And let's do logo. Let's do um, say nav. Okay. And then in this nav, we're going to do A times 5, which is basically just creates a uh, anchor links for us so let's do bio let's do uh, tour let's do music let's do videos let's do shop okay now the next thing that we want to do 
we're gonna come here and start working on this header right so and here let's put in the image of the logo so let's do an anchor link anchor link and put in image source logo dot png okay close the tag all right also it has to be slash image slash logo there you go okay cool now the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna basically come here and see this the top section I'm gonna come here put in header and this header we're gonna say uh, display flex okay display flex okay I'm gonna say with 100 percent I mean technically by default it's like that but I usually like to to do it um, okay logo uh, let's say image with 100 percent okay so we got the logo and then the image okay logo image with 100 percent with on the logo is gonna be say with say 50 pixels okay that's more like it on this we're gonna say justify content space between okay as you can see that send them all the way to over there and then on this we're gonna say align self uh, centered and that basically centers it right in the middle of this image okay now for this we're gonna say for this anchor links we're gonna come in we're gonna say color uh, white we're gonna say um, text decoration none font size let's put in 1.2 rim save that okay font weight let's say 300 okay all right now we're basically going to give a padding on left and right zero on top and bottom left and right we're gonna say 10 pixels okay that is fine we're also going to create a padding around the whole header itself so we're gonna say padding let's say padding mm. say 15 pixels all around see how that looks okay and as you can see we're not getting the right sizes so what we're gonna do up here we're gonna come do a star and this is very important guys whenever you see that for some reason your boxes are not fitting uh, the right way make sure you put in border box for every single element and as you can see now everything stays inside within the space that they need to be okay now the next thing that we want to do for this thing because as you can see we have the header like uh, kind of messing up so what we want to do we want to move this header and we want to say position absolute okay position absolute save that we're gonna say 
Z index, we're going to put in three. And there you go. So far, we're done, guys. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye. This video is brought to you by CodingFace.com and all of its members. Make sure you go visit a website. It's the only place where you're going to learn how to become a web developer with real projects. Take it from me. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. CodingFace.com. Keep it real. Keep it trill.